Good afternoon, good afternoon, and welcome back to the Perkins Garages YouTube channel for a Mac One walk around video. But before we do get started, if you do enjoy the Perkins Garages content, hit the subscribe button. And if you do enjoy this video, hit the like button. Any comments you may have after watching the video, please pop in the comments section below. So, hold your breath, here we go. This here is a shadow black Ford Mustang Mac One with the ever faithful 5 litre V8 naturally aspirated engine that produces 460 ps of power in old money that is 453 brake horsepower the torque plenty of it 529 newton meters and that's all transmitted through a beautiful six speed manual gearbox you've got the engine you've got the right transmission this is the full pony pardon the pun we are registered on a 71 registration, so we're going to have Ford warranty with us into October 2024. The vehicle itself is on just under 15,000 miles, like always, I'll get the exact number once we're inside the vehicle in a moment. This Mac 1 boasts some fantastic specs and fantastic, fantastic detailing, and my job is to take you around. So sit tight, and let's see how much I can remember. So let's start at the near side, I'm going to wake up the indicators, what you can see in that lamp there. Just above the indicators we have LED adaptive headlights with LED daytime running lights. We have the exclusive Mac 1 front grille, which features two gigantic nostrils letting cold air seep into the V8 engine. It's an active grille in the respect so it lets cold air through the sides as well into small radiators, which then in turn passes the cool air into the gigantic six-piston Brembo brakes before we do go any further let's have a look at this low gloss magnetic pony badge and this low gloss magnetic color features around the vehicle so you can see the little bottom lip there the pony badge and equally we have the mac one stripe kit running throughout the center of the vehicle and down either side so that's the front bumper before we go any further in the windscreen we have a sensor there for the automated lights, one at the top there for the traffic sign recognition, and also one for the auto wipers. Just a little gesture there. We have some 19 inch, five spoke, low, magne low gloss magnetic alloy wheels, and just through the alloy wheels there you can see the gorgeous six piston brake calipers. They're Brembo brake calipers, so you can have ultimate stopping power where you need it. Uh, the tyres, let's not forget the tyres, the only part of the vehicle connected to the road, they are Michelin Pilot Sport 4 tyres. As a former technician, I believe they're probably the best tyre money can buy. Mac 1 badging on the front wing there as well, looks really subtle. And again, the magnetic colour appears on the uh, mirror end caps. Making our way around the offside of the body, we have a few bits of spec to talk about. So if I was just to lock the vehicle, we have keyless entry on the door handle there, so it's ease of access to get in and out. Now we're at the offside rear of the vehicle. I'm going to give you a little assessment on the bodywork. So we're going to begin nice and high, and we're going to pan the camera all the way down so you can just see how gorgeous all these body panels are. I am a massive fan of these 19 inch five spoke wheels. I think it makes it look like a stock car. It looks absolutely awesome. And as you can see the, the red stripe continuing down the body also. So that's the offside of the vehicle. We're gonna come round to the back now. And we can see your 4.5 inch quad exhaust system. Believe me, this makes a hell of a racket and it's also an adaptive system. I'll show you when we're inside in a minute, but you can go on to the, uh, the driver display and turn the exhaust down. So if you live in the residential area, turn the uh, exhaust to quiet and it will barely make a noise. But when you are uh, having some fun, put it into sport and it's going to pop and bang to your hearts required. So the near side of the body now. So this is obviously where the, the vehicle is fueled from. But again, we're gonna make our way from the top all the way down to the bottom. Pan around now so you can see the near side rear wheel. I'm going to follow that red stripe all the way to the front, to the near side front wheel. Wonderful. I'm just going to keep the sentry features on both doors. So we'll just have a little look and show you the passenger seat to begin with. Um, you can gain entry by this little lever here. We do have a forward and backwards with height control on that electric panel there. So even the passenger seat is electric and 
nice Mac 1 badging on the door sill there, the door shut. Lovely, love a look. Good clunk of a door, good proper shutting sound. So now at the rear of the vehicle, apart from the quad exhausts, we have a high definition rear reversing camera which appears just above the Mac 1 badging. Opens up by this little button down here and that allows us to enter the boot. We have a gigantic subwoofer there so if you're into your music we've got a fantastic sound system and it always amazes me how large the boot is on the Mustang. So obviously it's not high in volume in the respect of height, the actual length of it is fairly impressive. If you're a golfist your golf bats are going in there just fine um, unfortunately the fisherman might uh, lose out a little bit because I don't think you're going to get a 12 foot rod in there but golfists, no problem cricket bats, no problem So, and all your obviously day to day activities we are backed up with a tyre compressor and sealant kit so you're always going to be going in the right direction to your golf events or anywhere else exciting you're going to so that is the exterior done and dusted Please come with me so we can have a look inside the vehicle because it doesn't stop there. It's very special inside. Looking at the door card quickly, two electric windows, mirror controls and interior locking just next to the door handle. We'll spin it around and we can see these exclusive Mac 1 seats. So I'll give you a nice view of those. And you've got this white stripe in the middle as well. Some light greyish, whitish stitching defining the whole lot. Now just to go down here quickly, we have lumbar support on this button here and we have a 1, a 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 way adjustable driver's seat with, with lumbar support. These seats are very special because they're not only just heated, they're actually air conditioned also. So you might see the perforated leather in the middle there and that allows a gentle cool breeze to cool your regions if required. And uh, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So if you don't mind, you're going to hear a bit of distortion on the microphone whilst I get inside the vehicle. So just bear with me for two seconds. You can all hear me loud and clearly. So what I'm going to do now, with the greatest privilege on a manual V8, to press the clutch pedal. The light on the stop start button will go green. Oh, oh, one click of that. Then that wakes everything up a bit. I'm just going to turn the seats down so you don't hear too much of a breeze. Please just bear with me for just two seconds. So I'll also turn the heating down as well. Marvellous. Okay, let's begin the interior tour by looking at the digital dash. So, click the OK button. We have the OK and arrows to the right hand side of the steering wheel. So that's how we're going to navigate around this dashboard. The exact mileage, which I was meant to say earlier, is 14,249.9 miles. At the left hand side of the display, we have the RPM gauge. To the right hand side is the speedo with the digital speed readout in the middle also. We have different gauges in the middle, which we can cycle through so we can see your inlet temperature, cylinder head temperature, air fuel ratio, and those of you know, 14 is the ideal burn. We've got the vacuum, we've got the battery voltage. I mean, these gauges aren't for everyone, I can't lie, but they're for me. I'd have great satisfaction of looking at my accelerational G, my braking G, my lateral G. I'd have an amazing time doing so. There we have different coolant temperature, oil temperature, and yeah, so we can go through those gauges there. I've just clicked the voice command button by accident as well. Now it's going to try and shout at me. There we are. Okay, so because this is a digital dashboard, we have the selectable drive modes, whether it's normal, sport, racetrack, drag strip, or wet and slippery also. But any mode you go into, it's gonna change the aesthetic of the screen. So you can now see we're in like drag mode. So it gives you the rev bar at the top there, giving you the ultimate uh, shifting potential. So I think that's a lot of the screen done. Obviously we have far more um, goodies on board, but this isn't a movie, this is a war ground video. If you want to see more come have a chat with me right hand side of the steering wheel is where i was controlling that using the arrows and the ok button and the back one and that one is the one i clicked by accident that is voice commands we have the sync 3.4 module with voice commands just there below it this is how you get into uh, so we talked about the pony last year settings we have a pick up a decline phone call and the navigation button there also and obviously 
a music button to turn on and off the audio. There's this little pony button. So if I'm gonna refer you back to the screen, we have my mode, so you can set up your mode however you fancy. Exhaust mode, so we can put that from racetrack, sport, and if you want, pop it in quiet. If you're in a residential area, that just dulls the exhaust completely, so it's an active exhaust system. So that's gonna be uh, friendly for your neighbors. We have a track app, so you can see your line lock, lap timer, acceleration timer, performance shift indicator, rev launch, rev match gauges, and my color, so you can change it or customize it to your heart's content. To the left hand side of the steering wheel now, this is where you'll find all of your cruise control. So this is a cruiser vehicle also, sit on the motorway, pop it in there, pop on cruise control, and you can sit there and relax while this vehicle does OK MPG. Just below it, above it, sorry, is your volume controls, mute button, a previous and next song uh, uh, toggle. On the indicator switch, we also have the button to turn off lane departure or lane assist, like so. Okay. So this sounds, let's talk about some sound for a second. We have got 12 individual B&O speakers all the way around this Mac one, and the sound system is incredible. Not only have you got Apple CarPlay, you've got Android Auto. If you don't have an Android or an Apple phone, you'd be surprised if you didn't, but you have Bluetooth as well. So you can connect your phone, play your tunes via your phone, nice and easy. It's very convenient for whatever software you have. If you don't know, I'll teach you everything you need to know. So this here is an eight inch colored touchscreen sync 3.4 module with satellite navigation. So give you a quick tour around this. Let's begin by popping the vehicle into reverse. High definition rear reversing camera. Back into neutral, just to be sure. We have the audio to the bottom left hand side of the screen. I can't play the song too loudly because YouTube tell me off and I have uh, copyright infringements knocking at my door in the morning. But a fantastic sound system there, as you can tell by that brief little bit of music. We have uh, the dual zone climate control, so both sides of the cabin can be set to individual temperatures. So if your passenger struggles with uh, heat, you can uh, heat them up using the heated seat and turn their temperature up whilst keeping yourself nice and cool and in the zone. Uh, so dual zone air conditioning and that includes a heated steering wheel and heated seats and air conditioning seats also we'll come to that in a minute so that's your climate audio navigation is just down there again we have some fantastic ford navigation it's done me well for many years in my ford vehicles but if you don't like using the sync nav you have your apple maps google maps ways all transpirable on that screen so if you don't like using the ford nav you don't have to you have got a very good up-to-date navigation system on board already this thing here it, what this does it, it ejects things called cds not every car has a cd player now so i don't think i'm just saying it for the sake of it get your albums out get your robbie in there let's have a good time so previous and next song and you can also adjust the piano sound using that little music button there you can adjust the bass um, to be honest it's above my pay grade but if you know what you're doing you can have some great fun adjusting that so as well as having a climate screen on the sync module, we also have some manual buttons. So you can control the temperature. Uh, you've got max air conditioning, automatic, uh, lower and higher fan speed, max demist, rear demist, and okay, these, these switches. I'm a sucker for a switch on a dashboard. Dashboards have got, the Mustangs have got to have switches. So you've got temperature switches, you've got some switches down there, mode. I wish you could hear the clunk mode switch we have a steering mode so you can change your steering feeling chest control if you're brave enough and the hazard switch there as well so buttons and switches are essential on a mustang i feel and it gives you a really fantastic sensation um, so i forgot to mention the vehicle is also fitted with magnify suspension so it's the upgraded suspension so it magnetically adjusts the suspension according to your road surface you're driving on so that's one bit of spec Dan forgot to mention. But what I did mention is the six speed manual gearbox. And if I refer to it as a bolt action, people will know what I'm referring to. But it's got the most fantastic positive sensation going in and out of the gearbox. So yeah, it's just a real nice short shifter. And you can see we've got the nice white uh, Gear, I don't know what to call it, gear knob, which is the little gear knobs, gear knob on top. Right, so that's a little bit about the sync controls and everything else. And before I leave you, what I'm going to leave you with 
it's not the air conditioning seats I can't stop banging on about because they're just fantastic it's a lovely feature for a Mustang and I've got a nice cool bump it's actually the chassis number so over here we have Mac 1 M2782 chassis Thank you very much for watching this video. Any questions, please do give us a call 01376 550 899. If not, leave us a comment below. And you know what? I look forward to speaking to you soon. Thank you and goodbye.